This is section 9.3, part A, polar and rectangular forms of equations. So when you're converting a polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates, in polar coordinates we're given an r and a theta. So to find the rectangular coordinates, to find the x coordinate, you are going to do r times the cosine of theta. And to find the y coordinate, you're going to do r times the sine of theta. So when you're doing this, if you're going to put these into your calculator, you're going to have to change your calculator from degrees to radians or radians to degrees, depending on what our equation is in the form of. So on part A, since this is given to us in radians, you would need to put your calculator in radians first. And to find the x-coordinate, you're going to do 4 times the cosine of pi over 6. Sorry, not pi over 3, pi over 6. If this is in radians, you're going to get 3.46. To find the y-coordinate, we're going to do 4 times the sine of pi over 6, which is going to give us 2. So our measure, our ordered pair for p in rectangular form will be 3.46 and 2. For q, this is now in degrees, so the first thing you would need to do is change your calculator to degrees. And in degrees, we are going to get 1.41 for our x. And we're going to get a negative 1.41 for the y value. So q in rectangular coordinates would be positive 1.41 and negative 1.41. And to find point V, again, this is in, I'm sorry, that should have been a positive 135, not a negative 135. Um, on V, again, we are in degrees, so we're going to be X is equal to 3 times the cosine of negative 120 degrees, which if we put that into our calculator, we are going to get a negative 1.5. And y is going to equal 3 times the sine of negative 120 degrees, which is going to give us negative 2.6. So our ordered pair for that will be negative 1.5 and negative 2.6. Now, if we need to convert from rectangle, rectangular to polar, we have a right triangle here, so to find the length of that radius, we can use our Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or to get that radius by itself, radius is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And to find that angle, since I know the opposite and the adjacent, we're going to use that inverse tangent is equal to y over x. Now, if the x value is greater than zero, it's just going to be the inverse tangent of y over x. If the x value is less than 0, we're going to do the inverse tangent of y over x plus pi if it's in radians, or inverse tangent of y over x plus 180 if it's in degrees. Now for this, we are going to have to find two pairs of polar coordinates. Remember what we did in section 9.1, we can find coterminal points by adding or subtracting 360, or if we change our radius and make our radius negative, then we can add or subtract 180. So for A, the first thing we're going to do is find the R value. So we're going to do 1 squared plus negative radical 3 squared. Remember, when you square a negative, it becomes positive, and when I square a square root, that just cancels, so that gives me radical 4 or 2 for the r value. To find theta, we're going to do inverse tangent of y over x, or in this case, tan inverse tangent of negative radical 3 over 1. Now, it doesn't specify if these need to be in degrees or in radians. So if you're going to put degrees, make sure you put the degree symbol so we know that this is in degrees. And if we do solve this in degrees, we're going to get negative 60 degrees. So one of our points will be 2 and negative 60 degrees, but we do need to find two points. To find that second point, you could add or subtract 360. So if we add 360, our second point will be 2 
and 300 degrees. Now on the next one, we are going to find r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, or the square root of 9 plus 36, which is radical 45. Now, if you notice, this x value is negative. So since it's negative, when we go to find our angle, we're going to have to do the inverse tangent of y over x, but then we're going to have to add 180 degrees. Again, this is because our x value is negative. And if we put that all into your calculator, we are going to get 116.6 degrees. So our first ordered pair will be radical 45 and 116.6 degrees. To find the second one, we can just subtract 360. So if I do 116.6 minus 360 degrees, that's going to give us our second ordered pair of radical 45 and negative 243.4.